Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo, and in this video, I'm going to talk about all Sims games for the Nintendo Wii. My Sims is a cozy but very awesome video game. Your purpose in the game is to just live your virtual life and convince as many people to move in your small town and be your neighbors. The game is a series of tasks to fulfill for your future neighbors. The game is very construction based. So most of the tasks revolve around creating stuff for them. For example, creating their house or creating objects in their house. You can even ignore the missions in the game and just roam around, find scrap or decorate your own house. You can free roam around town and create your neighbor's houses or objects within the houses. Overall, the game is creative, jolly and, and a must try. Sims 2 Pets is Sims but with pets. You don't control the animals, you control the humans and get to train your pet and even get a job for the pet. You can either adopt your pet or have it by result of breeding. As pets in the game you can have dogs, cats, hamsters and parrots, which you can customize from a wealth of options. And there are plenty of options to spend time with your pets, for example you can play with them, train them, pet them. They are needy and need a lot of care, you need to wash them and train them and feed them and you have pay to pay attention for their stats. It's a good game of Sims. The Sims 2 Castaway is the same awesome Sims experience, but on a desert island. You and the other people that landed on the island have to survive. You'll be exploring the jungles of the island and its shorelines until you can't anymore. You'll befriend monkeys and humans, build rafts and other than this, it's the classic sims game. You cook, decorate your house, dance, have relationships with people. The game proves that sims can extend its gameplay in many sorts of way and still be a solid game. In the Sims Kingdom, you are the good citizen who has been anointed to rebuild the kingdom. You are granted the magic wand and wander around helping people rebuild their houses. In order to use the magic wand, you need mana, which can be collected from shaking trees, by mining, by digging it out, also you can fish. It doesn't give you mana, but just know that you can do it, you can fish and water trees and other extra activities. Once you get into creating, you'll see that the tasks are surprisingly varied. You need, for example, to set up a sprinkler system or get cows back behind bars. The only bad part about the game is that it has a lot of grinding. Mana depletes quickly, which means that you'll have to dig for mana a lot. My Sims agents changes the formula. It's a sandbox game with more emphasis on the story. You are a detective that has to solve cases. This involves a lot of running around, interrogating people, find clues and get to the bottom of a series of seemingly unrelated cases that end up all being connected. But don't worry, this might sound complicated, but remember that it's a kid's game. You'll find the game easy. Also, you get a headquarter which you can decorate how you want. And also you have some junior apprentices that send you messages of what they have discovered. An annoying part about the game were the minigames, which consist of annoying puzzles. And also attention. In order to progress in the game, you have to, I can't say it out loud, read. You have to pay attention to the text box in the game and read everything and remember everything. Read? So, this is not a game for people allergic to reading. My Sims Party is a party game consisting of 50 bad minigames. The minigame is either boring or unresponsive or unfair. The Wiimotes don't always capture your motion in time and there is a huge discrepancy in difficulty from minigame to minigame. One can be easy and the next one can be really hard. And this is a kid's game, remember. Also characters have different attributes in a kid's game. 
that means that there are better characters and worse ones. Kids just choose the character based on appearance, they don't look at stats. Which means that some kids are more prone to lose just because they've chosen the weakest character and that's the one they like most. Also, the unfairness continues. You can get a stat boost card or you can get your stats lowered even more. This game gets to be pretty unfair for a kids game. My Sims Racing is a Mario Kart clone, but a good one nonetheless. You can customize your vehicle and character, and vehicle customization isn't just aesthetic. By installing a new engine, for example, the car can go way faster than before, by getting a new steering wheel, the car handles better than before, and so on. The game has a plot, and just like in any Sims game, it's there just to give the game a purpose and not necessarily engage you, the story isn't engaging, it's just there. And during the plot, you'll do two types of things, race or collect stuff on the road. My Sim Sky Heroes is an arcade dogfighter game and plain race game. It's easy to pick up, easy to play, it's just perfect for a kid. Whether you race or dogfight, the game is wholesome. You get the usual customization options and there's not only really much to say about the game, it's enjoyable, though it gets repetitive. You get a story too that again is there just to give the game a purpose. Oh, and you can collect power-ups for your plane during dogfights. So basically it's a dogfight and racing game where you can customize your plane and characters. And it's enjoyable. Sims 3 on Wii is like Sims 3 on PC, but with more and longer loading screens and with choppy frame rates. The graphics were obviously downgraded, but it's no biggie since you still get the insane amount of customization options from the PC one. Also specific to the Sims 3, you get karma abilities, so that you can get your Sim to be just like you in real life, or like me. So if you are prepared to oversee the performance issues on the Wii, which can get to be pretty frequent, you can get some fun out of the game. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.